Hello Taurus Singles and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. So I'm getting back to you today to complete part B of your reading. I've been kind of suffering from a cold, so I'm trying to do these readings more at a slower pace than normal. So please bear with me as I do these. So with this part, ladies and gentlemen, we were just talking about perhaps a quality within you that you have overlooked or dismissed or ignored in some way. And perhaps it would benefit you if you paid a bit more attention here. So we were discussing sexuality here. Some of you are not being true to yourself in terms of sexuality here. You're worrying um, so much about what other people may think. It's your life. You have to live it. Do what's best for you. Be true to your own sexual needs. And some of you might even be struggling to represent a person that you know you're not. Or whom you, who you know you're not. It's all about being realistic and keeping it real. However, I do see you, ladies and gentlemen, if this person hasn't already shown up, a newcomer, or it could possibly be someone that you've recently met. Uh, of course, if that person hasn't already shown up yet. So consider, as you move forward with this new person, the advice that I've given you in Part A, as well as the advice in Part B, okay? So now let's just go on and pull a final card here to, to get some indication, ladies and gentlemen, of an action that you might consider taking or an energy you could embrace to help put you in good stead for the type of partner or relationship that many of you um, are desiring here. So we have all oh, resolving conflict here. So it looks like you need to resolve conflict within yourself here and be more accepting of circumstances here. Spirit wants you to create a greater and higher level of understanding. You might be going through some type of a um, uh, problem with a new person or you soon will. And it might be like a little disagreement or whatever, but Spirit is showing here on this card is asking you to show empathy, show compassion, show understanding show love. You don't always have the right answers, Taurus. It's time that you hear the other person out and try to avoid being confrontational here that I'm kind of getting. All right? So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to give you additional messages. And again, this reading is valid until the end of this month on things that you might consider transforming as you move forward, okay? Or just simply letting go because it's not helping you, okay? So Spirit, give me your few final messages to share. And Taurus, if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit. And be sure to press that subscription button, okay? So. The, the, the most important thing Spirit wants you to do here is to surrender your results or your attachment to results. Understand that the formula for success is to simply do all that you can do to make things happen and then you just simply let go of the results. Because certainly holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can definitely sabotage it. Next message. Surrender your belief in scarcity. There is not only just one person out there for you guys. Some of you are still, you know, kind of having a problem after having lost an ex and thinking that perhaps you'll never find that again. Yes, you will. Okay? The universe is now asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. And abundance doesn't always have to include money. It includes also opportunities. You follow me, Taurus? And this way, you can certainly remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Next message. Ooh, 
Okay. Some of you really need to surrender frustration. Understand that frustration certainly does not open any doors. The key to resolving the dilemma, which it seems here that you guys are moving towards some type of a conflict that might need to be resolved, is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup to so that you may approach the situation a bit more calmly. Next message. Spirit wants you to definitely surrender your desire to control people. Because being overly controlling towards can sabotage any relationship or any potential relationship. So to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Okay? So I, I kind of feel that you guys have met someone and you're probably going through some type of a, a bit of a debacle I'm getting here. Next message. And last message today, Spirit says, let go of the fearful stories you have and are telling yourself. Stay in this moment. Focus on solutions and try to celebrate every baby step forward. And Taurus, I want to give you one final message here. Surrender to success because it seems that things are going to start taking a turn for the better for you when it comes to the romantic department, for, particularly for those of you seeking romance here. The key is to take your time, let go. You are now ready to experience abundance as well as opportunities. It's time that you don't look back at previous roadblocks or you know, different tumultuous experiences that you guys have endured or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So this is your reading, okay? Next we have Taurus Couples and then I'm going to be doing Taurus Teens, okay? Thanks so much for your time. Should any of you wish us to have a more personalized reading, you can certainly access my website to schedule or to purchase. There is currently an active $15 coupon with which you can apply to any of the readings shown there or to one Taurus a bit more customized. Thanks so much for your time and I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day now.